What's up guys, Steve here. I'm gonna do a, uh, I guess a reshoot, I guess. Um, over the weekend I did a video for Running with Comics 500 sub contest and I got in and wanted to see your comic book room and I did a real quick video and I missed a lot of stuff after I went back. I was just, I was in a hurry trying to, trying to meet deadline. And plus I just, we just been busy here lately. Um, you know, both my kids, like I've said a thousand times, you know, they, both play baseball and, and softball and uh both of them are gearing up and and the season's getting close Ch my son chaz actually has a has a tournament this weekend coming up weekend and uh so we've been uh been hitting and doing a lot of stuff like that and uh so i hadn't had a chance to do a lot of stuff i'm actually home today uh, we got a nice storm <laughs> uh sunday sunday night and uh so this is my second day from working at home. So, um, you know, in the South, you know, we don't, we get more ice than we do anything. And when it does, it shuts everything down because Southerners don't know how to drive on ice or snow, you know, so. But anyway, um, I wanted to get in here and kind of show you guys more of my collection, stuff that I have in my collection. And um, instead of just real quick going through it, um, I watched Captain Strange Life video and good God, I mean, that is, uh, that's awesome. That's that's just phenomenal, you know. And uh, I like how he just stumbles on stuff. Oh, hey, look at here. There's a first appearance of so and so. I mean, I, I like that, you know. And uh, it's genuine, um, you know. Uh, everybody that did a video, all their videos were were awesome. Um, some I didn't get to watch full because, um, like I said, we've been real busy and hadn't been able to watch a lot of videos and stuff like that. Plus, we got a Comic Con coming this Saturday and I mean my son's gonna go he wants to get some more sketches done so I'm gonna take him for his uh, for his turn that starts plus I got some uh, I got some books I got to get signed for some some buddies um, so uh, Tom and Matt I got your books and uh, they'll be accompanying me to the Comic Con so Bernie Wrightson is gonna be there and uh, James O'Barr anyway um, and what's crazy is they're kind of wanting me to uh, to kind of be part of the next one um, to kind of help out a little bit. So, uh, you know, I, I didn't have time this time, but the next one will be after ball season's done and I might be able to uh, to help out a little bit. So anyway, let's get to it. Um, my collection room is my office and uh, this is all kind of just ragtag right now. Um, I'm about to slow down on my, my buying and kind of start reorganizing my collection. Um, my collection probably grew over the past year probably 50% probably and uh, I mean I hit it hard and uh, had a good year but it's time to kind of ease back off the throttle a little bit I mean this year I uh, completed Alpha Flight, Defenders, almost quite all the Avengers runs except for Volume 1 and I think one other one Captain America all his volumes are done, Daredevil all his volumes are done um, I'm not going to say Iron Man yet because that's going to be for a later video, but I'm close. I'm down to one. Um, you know, completed G.I. Joe, uh, New Mutants. Uh, I, mean, I can just, uh, a lot of the smaller ones, Sleepwalker, everybody's favorite Quasar. Uh, just kidding. Um, but I, mean, I completed a ton of stuff, and I'm, I'm real thankful to be able to do it. But like I said, I got to slow down a little bit and kind of get my breath and and uh just kind of take care of some other stuff and um but i'll still be buying i'll still do some videos and stuff and uh like i said i'm really going to focus on uh getting all this mess organized and uh you know i've got long boxes right here i mean they're just stacked up i'd like to eventually switch them all over to uh to the drawer boxes i've showed these all before and i, I they're they're expensive but uh you when you don't have a lot of room you know you can stack them up and i think i'm gonna i'm gonna redo them you know i've got these stacked up what one two three five high i wouldn't go no further than five uh but i think i'm gonna build a huge shelf probably take all this stuff here down and just redo it and uh, but i'd like to eventually switch over to all them but you're going to pay in shipping what you would pay for the boxes that's how expensive they are and uh you know to me, if you're going to buy them, don't buy the knockoffs, buy the drawer box. Google that. 
and uh, go right to the uh, the source and buy them. You know, the B, what is it, the, uh, she always get the company mixed up, I'll say it right, BCW, you know, they have some, but they I think they tear up quick. Um, I've had these for almost two years, and uh, they're still perfect, you know, and uh, so, uh, yeah, but anyway, let's get to it. Um, there's a lot of computers and all that stuff, sorry for the spin around, guys, we'll kind of start over here. I collect a lot of, uh, when I take breaks from comic books, I, I buy a lot of sports memorabilia. I'm a huge New York Yankees fan. I'm a huge Miami Hurricane fan, baseball, football. Um, I'm a big, um, of course, I'm an Arkansas Razorback fan because that's where I'm from. Um, but I got a lot of autograph stuff. Um, that right up there is a, uh, that's an autograph 1998 New York Yankees World Series mini helmet. I'm a big Danbury Mint collector. I like anything. The only one I need is uh, Roger Maris on the Danbury Mints. These are all Phil Hughes. This one right here, see if I can get up there. That's uh, Goose Gossage, signed mini helmet. I think those right there is Phil Hughes, mini helmets when he was in the minors, which I think he's with the Royals now. Uh, there's uh, some minor league baseballs that have been signed, some New York Yankee stuff. There's a, I think that's an A.J. Burnett ball up there. Anthony Thomas played for Michigan, running back, uh, rookie of the year for the Bears. He don't play anymore, of course. Um, but uh, he played with uh, Tom Brady at Michigan. And he was out of uh, out Louisiana. So... There's some uh, start, not starting lineups by McFarlane's. I got an attic full of McFarlane's and starting lineups. There's Anthony Thomas, uh, replica full size helmet signed. Not a big NASCAR fan, but in 2001, when Dale Earnhardt died, I kind of got on a little kick and I bought some, some cars. There's some more McFarlane's. I was big into McFarlane's whenever they, uh, they, they first came out. You know, they were hot. I mean, you chased all them variants and stuff, and then it seemed like that everywhere you looked, there was a variant or something. So, all right, let's see here. There's an autographed uh, Raul Mondesi, played for the Yankees briefly. There's a Whitey Ford PSA DNA Cooperstown jersey. This Razorback jersey right here is Darren McFadden, running back for uh, the Raiders. Pat Tillman who uh, died overseas uh, as a ranger. You know, he uh, made, uh, he was a great football player for Arizona Cardinals and turned around and uh, decided to quit after 9-11 and uh, went overseas. He said he wanted to do something more with his life. And uh, I thought that was just badass. I mean, he, he eventually died. I think it was Friendly Fire overseas, but I got his memorial jersey. Uh, Sean Chacon. I went online on Rockies.com and I was able to uh, get some uh, game used stuff. And I got a Sean Sucone game used jersey. It's got all the paperwork and stuff. It's somewhere down there. And also his, uh, let's see. I think you can see it, his hat. And there's all of my sons and mine's games, PS2 games. And then, uh, let's see, some old VHS tapes. We did a lot of PlayStation 3 and Xbox. Well, his Xbox games are back there. You got a one now, so. These are all game used bats. Um, a couple of them are minor leagues. There is a one that is a Juan Uribe. That one right there. No, yeah, that one. Yeah, right there. It's a Juan Uribe game used bat. And I got a Bucky Dent. This one here is actually signed by Cliff Lee and A.J. Burnett, two Arkansas boys. Um, I know one of them all right. You know, uh, A.J. Burnett's a pretty, pretty good guy. So, uh, right, let's see. We'll keep going. Um, some more autograph stuff. Big Miami fan, of course. Um, got Joe DiMaggio signed baseball. Which is one of my pride and joys. The Mariano Rivera. 
Here's my AJ Burnett. Here's a uh, Mike Allstott football autograph when he was with the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks. Here's my little Batman figures. And this is just kind of odd and stuff. This is a team, 1999 team, uh, Danbury Mint collection. As you can see back in the back, my son is in a New York Yankees little one piece when he was a kid. I mean, he had no choice. We've been Yankee fans ever since I was little. So that's kind of odd, I know, from uh, you know being in Arkansas. A lot of Cardinal fans and Ranger fans here. So I, I catch a lot of hell, but I can also give a lot of hell too. So there's my Bryce Harper autographed baseball. We got these here whenever we went to Yankee Stadium in uh, 2008. Just a bunch of odds. We've got some cups from the stadium. There's Travis Wood, another Arkansas boy. And I think that's Dustin Mosley right there. Yeah, another Arkansas boy. Played for the Yankees too. Got to meet him and uh, him and AJ Burnett. Both of them are, are real, real cool guys. Cliff Lee, he's a he's a jerk. I mean, he's an absolute ass. So there's some Yankee dragsters. Got a Yankee Stein. And here's those Danbury Mints a little closer. I mean, they're nice, real nice. Like I said, all I need is Roger Maris, and he's hard to find. There's some uh, Yankee Bud Light bottles. Oh, go down here. There's my son's first mitt. You know, when I seen it, I was like, man, that's the smallest authentic little Rawlings I've ever seen in my life. So I had to get it for him. He's a little baby, and I had it on his on his hand. So uh, there's some odd end stuff back there. I was a big Jabba Chamberlain fan when he first came out, so I got a lot of Jabba stuff. He ended up being a disappointment after the Yankees kind of screwed him up. We got to meet uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. And he signed his, uh, oh, I think this is 2001 All-Star car. See it on the back? That's where we met him at. Little bitty short guy. More Coke bottles and stuff. Budweiser from Yankees. This right here is one of my pride and joys. I've said it before. Um, we got to meet, and I think this is an 04. They did concert, concert series cars. And... Um, Anyway, Dale Jr. had one and Tony Stewart drew, drove it. And we got to meet Three Doors Down at a concert. We got to hang out with them. And I got to meet them a couple of times. And um, we took the cars in, me and a buddy of mine, and we had them sign them. And uh, I mean, you talking about some down to earth guys. You know, these, these guys here were awesome. I mean, they're out of Mississippi. And uh, I mean, they, you know, I don't know how the singer on one of them was, was able to perform because he was pretty, pretty damn lit. We were all lit, you know. And uh, we was in the VIP section, got to sit on stage with them when they performed in front of like, I think it was like 18,000 people. I mean, it was awesome, freaking awesome. So, kind of go back up this shelf here. Another uh, Dell Jr. car. Some odd and ends. Gary Sheffield, one of my favorite Yankees. Liked his attitude. There's uh, the catchers right there. Got Yogi, Thurman Munson. Here's my little, little plush figure from uh, my buddy Andrew. There's the Mick, Joe D, and Bernie Williams. And some more Coke bottles from, uh, from the New York area, Tri-State area. There's the cheater, Alex. Joe Torrey, one of my favorite Yankee managers right there. Coke bottles ce celebrating the last year. I buy a lot of stuff online because, of course, you can't find, you know, stuff like this right here, around here. There's Ron Guidry, Louisiana Lightning, the great Mariano Rivera will ne ne ah, never be another one like him. This is one of my G.I. Joe pins. Reggie Jackson, there's Andy Pettit, one of the great lefties of my generation. Don Madley. There's... Uh, Bobby Mercer, Hideki Matsui, Jim Catfish Hunter, 
Alfonso Soriano, who I'm glad is back with the Yankees and probably going to finish his career there. Clemens, I still think he's probably one of the great, great, Yan or, uh, great pitchers of our generation. I know there's that cloud of, of performance enhancing over him. Um, but really, it's, it's speculation right now. I mean, you can point fingers at everybody. And I'll, and I'll say this, I mean, about the performance enhancing part, where does it begin, where does it stop? Because, you know, they're trying to say it's in the 90s. No, I don't think it is in the 90s. Um, you know, in the 80s, steroids was real big in football. So if you don't think it was in baseball in the 80s, you're, real, you're crazy. And uh, I tell you what, there's some pitchers that I believe that, that uh, my personal opinion that I think that was on it because they pitched a long, long time, you know, and one of them is Nolan Ryan. And uh, you know, he pitched in his 40s, late, you know, mid 40s. And uh, people forget about that, you know, and he was effective. And uh, hell, he beat the crap out of Robin Ventura, you know. So um, there's the scooter, Phil Rizzuto. Then down here, these four little shells right here I've got if you played for the Yankees I got a card of you or three or four or five hundred cards of you and um, this is kind of a sample right here I mean I don't have any try not to have any duplicates in here um, but you know I got Reggie Jackson I got a ton of Derek Jeter you know I mean I was big in the card collecting I mean there's a bunch of gear I probably got you know six seven hundred jeter cards so you know i hadn't collected like you know any cards in the last couple of years um but if i see them you know cheap or whatever i'll pick them up you know oh, well i'll just wait there's my uh little art piece of uh lou gehrig's farewell speech got what he said in the speech thought that was real cool so i got it Still got to get this frame, Matt. Um, my buddy Matt, Comic Quarter 410, went and got this right here signed for me. Actually got it for me and signed it by uh, Mr. Golden. So I thought that was awesome. Little box right here, some books that I'm probably going to end up trading or selling. So some of my cameras I use. And here are these boxes over here, magazine boxes. They've got New York Yankee magazines. Uh, Sports Illustrated, Miami Hurricane, Sports Illustrated. Um, you know, there's newspapers. Um, you know, so any of you guys that are in the New York area and, and you know, anytime we win a championship or whatever, there's any, any news on, send me the papers. You know, I like collecting that stuff. So, got some. These are all men on card. This is like 25th anniversary G.I. Joe's. It's got a bunch of those. Um, there's uh, Bill Dickey. Here, Dickey Stevens Park here in Little Rock is uh, named after them, or him. One of my favorite Yankees, Paul O'Neill, number 21. Um, I loved everything about him. I liked his his fire that he had um, when he traded. When he traded, when he came over from Cincinnati, I I was happy. I mean, I was a happy person. And I think the Yankees need that now, and I think they're going to get that with Brian McCann. You need somebody that's got a little bit of fire in them. You can't be business all the time. And, you know, eventually, you know, somebody throws at you or whatever, you know, you got to throw back. And uh, that's just my my thing, my feeling on that. So some more starting, not starting lines, but farlands. And I've got a crap load of starting lineups. I'm waiting on the, uh, you know, I think everything comes around. History repeats itself. And I think one day the starting lineups will be popular again. I do believe it. So I'm just holding on to them. So I've got about 10, 12 bins full of them. Got a bunch of McFarlands. Got some art pieces back there that I have no room for. Kind of go over here. There's some pieces you've seen in some videos. Got my Joe DiMaggio. And there's uh, Babe Ruth and uh, Lou Gehrig. Got one of these at my office at work too. All right. And up here, sorry guys. Um, more McFarlane's, got some Generation 1 Transformers. I was real happy to get these. Um, I never had an Optimus Prime when I was a kid. And I got one now. So I had a Soundwave. Wasn't real big into Transformers. I, I mean, I had some, but I like G.I. Joe. So, all these are autographed baseball cards. 
Here's my vintage at that from uh, 70, I forgot what year it is, but it's one of the original ones. A bunch of autograph mini helmets behind. Got some tubs of just various toys I had when I was a kid. Rambo, um, some Dungeons and Dragons, um, just some odd and end stuff. These are my two grab boxes right here in case something happens. It's got my CGC books and um, some more of my higher end books. Oops. Got my Star Wars. Big G.I. Joe collector when I was a kid. That was probably my all time favorite stuff right there. I, I, I kept all my figures. Um, I made a mistake in selling my all my vehicles um but they were all at my mother's house and uh, where we had them there was some water damage on a shop in the back and uh, a lot of them got wet not none of the figures did i had them all inside but some of the vehicles and stuff got wet end up selling them and i uh, made some all right money but uh i sold a uss flag a terror drone uh tomahawk sky strikers rattlers i mean everything and when i collected gi joe when I bought the figures, you know, I bought, I was army building at a young age. I mean, I would turn around and I wouldn't have just one Cobra soldier. I would have 10, you know, what fun was one Cobra soldier. So I had to have 10 of them, 10 Crimson Guard and so forth. So I, collect, I kept all of them. And there's my Cobra Commander. There's some, uh, another art print right there. There's me and my daughter. That's about four years ago and my kids and there's me and my son in 08 at Yankee Stadium there's uh, Joe D from my good friend Tom Ryan those right there are uh, Ray Lewis autographed full-size Miami helmet and also a Ray Lewis football big Ray Lewis fan <clears throat> if you ever heard any, heard him, any, uh, any of his speeches just Google it on uh, on YouTube, and uh, he's got one on there. If I can find a link to it, I'll put a link on it. But I tell you what, I've had my son watch it, and uh, it talked about him growing up, nothing, and uh, you know everything he had to do. He said the biggest thing is is whenever you're training, he says it's easy to do everything in front of coaches and your parents and all that. The hardest thing is is to do it when nobody's looking. And uh, I thought that was keen, and I made my son watch it, and. Uh, Cause my son has got some, uh, he's got some skills. My daughter does too. She's young, but my son is, he, uh, he's, uh, he catches and he plays middle infield and pitches. And, uh, he, uh, he's pretty badass. I'm very, very proud of him. But here's some reference books that I like to use. Um, there's, of course, this is an old edition of, uh, Overstreet. But here's how when I collect my, <clears throat> My GI Joes and stuff, I use that guide. There's a Transformer one down there. And some other stuff. There's some various books that I like to read. Lots of Yankee stuff. Love the Yankees. You know, so there are all kinds of Yankee books back there. And Tom, there's your stuff. I got to get sent out to you, buddy. All right. Um, here's my comic collection right here. I probably got about 70 something long boxes. You know, try and keep them in order, but man, it's, it's hard. It's real hard. I've been using these little vinyl sleeves. I've showed them before, and you can put like an index card in there. And uh, that way you're not writing on the box and having to replace the boxes all the time. I really wanted to start doing that when I started switching stuff to drawer boxes because I don't want to screw up the boxes. I want to keep them as long as I can because they're, they're expensive. So... But uh, here's how I collect right here. <clears throat> I got these out. This is what I had when I was a kid. I mean, all this is about age 10, 11. And I would write, and I added some later in life, you know, some numbers and stuff, but, you know, a lot of this right here. And then, of course, I went to the binder. I've showed the binder before. Let me try to get to it. You know? I use Comic Base and I can print out, you know, issues that I'm missing and then I go through and I'll just, as I get them, I'll scratch them out. 
And about every few months, I'll turn around and print off a new, you know, some new ones. But yeah. And now Comic Base has where you can lock, you can get online. And ha I have it saved in my my iPhone, so when I'm out somewhere, I can just click on it and I can see what I got. As long as I update update it before I leave, that way on, the online part has, you know, up to date information which I'll probably do that before I go to that con this weekend. So, and those uh, those boxes I was showing up there, this is, I mean, they're just full of autograph cards. I'm a big Miami fan, of course, and I think Ken Dorsey's probably one of the best college qu quarterbacks of my generation. Um, he led Miami in the early 2000s. He had an awesome team around him. had Clinton Portis and Willis McGahee and, you know, Sean Taylor was on defense. I mean, you could just go up and down the guys that were on the team. These are mostly football right here. You know, Eric Winston, as you can see. You got Brett Favre, rookie. That's his rookie that everybody wants. Or did one. I haven't looked at it lately. So, there's Rivera, rookie card. And all the basketball stuff. Joe Klein right here, an Arkansas guy. But, uh, with some uh, DC cards. But yeah, that's that's what I got. Um, there's some gloves. I just got my my daughter, and my son, some new gloves, and those are ones I guess we're going to get rid of. Um, the GI Joes. I was going to show these. This is what I was talking about. I mean, I've got every. I probably got 500 GI Joes complete. I mean, I got them. You know, like here's a complete original Storm Shadow. With nunchucks and everything. I mean, when I buy them, I like to buy them complete. And ones that I had as a kid, if I miss was missing something, I went back and ended up, you know, completing it. There's a Firefly. So, yeah. All right. Uh, and my pride and joy is my Derek Jeter signed 2001 World Series bat. It's a replica bat, but it was a it was a World Series model. So thought that was real cool. I ended up getting that probably about five, six years ago. So real happy to get that one, especially with him retiring. So alright guys, well that's all I've got. Um, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. I tried not to miss anything might be kind of long it's kind of a mess in here but uh it's what it is you know so oh yeah this right here is comic base this is what i use right here and uh you know you can go in and you can turn around and you know you put your you know how what your grade your comic is in you know what you got and it, you know it goes through the internet and it, it pulls what they're averaging and uh, you know so you can turn around and you can you know, if you got CGC stuff you can do CGC and all that so I like it and then you turn around and you can uh, keep up with what you got currently I got 18,209 comics and the price is that right there so pretty cool stuff all right guys and uh, I appreciate it and uh, like I said I hope you guys are having a good week stay warm and um, you know if you got any questions on anything just let me know um, if you got questions about anything uh, how I do it or whatever just let me know uh, I do when I, I'm collecting I do use uh, both poly and mylar bags um, it just depends on what the comic is and um, yeah, so that's it. So uh, I appreciate it, guys, and uh, hope you're having a good week. Talk to you later. See ya.